After opening a part in NetFab, if you decide that it is a part that you will likely use build over build in different prints, you may want to select it and add it to your part library. You can do so by right-clicking on it and saying export part, add to part library. When you do that, you get to give it a name, a description, and you can even assign a custom color. After saving your part to the part library, it will show up in your part library section. The part library section of NetFab includes folders for primitive shapes, custom designs, mathematical shapes, as well as quality related parts. Any part you add to your part library will show up in the custom folder. Here you can see that we have the part rotary to linear one underscore 24 added to the part library. If you go to the part configuration, you can edit the name, description, and color. With the 2025 version of NetFab, you can also remove this from your custom meshes. Beware that this action cannot be undone, and once you remove it and restart NetFab, that part will no longer show up in your part library.